Hello, welcome to Inis Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful frosting for cake by hand. No machine needed, no hand mixer, no stand mixer. So first of all, we start with 400 grams of vegetable shortening. We have icing sugar. We have some milk powder. We have cornstarch. And then we have flavoring so now I'm giving two options of flavoring we have coconut flavoring and you can see how clear it is I'll be explaining this later and then we have cream vanilla cream vanilla too is also a clear flavoring remember we are going for a white frosting and that's why we are using any kind of flavoring or essence that is clear almond flavor or essence is also fine this is salt so I'll be explaining how to make this frosting as we go along. First of all, we put in some icing sugar. It's important to remember that since we are doing this by hand, we're using a whisk, not a wooden spoon. <laughs> you need a whisk to do this. So because we're doing this by hand, we're going to start with putting just a little bit of the icing sugar. Now starting off, you can see that the shortening is um kind of cream like in color but it will get white as we continue to um mix this mixture now i'm also putting powdered milk like i've just put in and when i put the powdered milk you notice that the mixture ha is cream like and you're wondering how are we going to get white if it's already looking cream like when you add more of the icing sugar it would become white and the more we keep mixing is like creaming the shortening it becomes whiter now i live in a very humid um, climate and for this recipe we'll not be adding any form of fluid like water the essence and flavorings that i'm adding are oil based this is cream vanilla and it is more of an oil based flavoring because of the climate that i'm in by adding any form of water it will make this uh, recipe less stable so what we want is white first thing that is super stable so even if it is two hours out of the refrigerator it's still looking good it's not dripping or the colors are not melting that is if you're adding color and another thing is this is a great recipe if you just started learning how to decorate cakes when you use subtle colors like this it's easy to design and it looks great so it's always nice to begin with a very subtle color so now we're not going for white white we're going to get more like an off white color if you want it to be whiter than this you can opt for a milk powder that has like a more white shade what i used was a full cream milk powder because i'm also going to be using this as a filling and i want it to be as delicious <laughs> as it can be i'm also adding some salt because this particular shortening brand i'm using is unsalted you can use any form of shortening that you find so this is any kitchen i like to show videos for home cooks that are looking for easy recipes whether it's healthy ice cream without an ice cream machine or how to make frosting or cakes without having any form of mixer you know just making life easy for <laughs> everyone so this is the shortening you can see with icing sugar corn flour to help absorb moisture and you can see how white it is make no mistake this is not cream color you know from the thumbnail you might be thinking oh is this cream is this off-white this is more of an off-white color and it's a result of the milk that i added you can leave that out if you're skeptical about it so here i am piping it in a piping bag and i'll be using it to decorate this beautiful cake just look at this so i have a video for this particular cake design please watch it share this video like subscribe support my channel thank you for watching